I have a very vivid memory of sitting alone in my bedroom and almost saying to myself, there is something very wrong with me. It was like a sudden, very vivid awareness. It was something almost intangible, but I felt it very strongly within me. It felt very much like I was living in black and white while the rest of the world was living in colour. It's strange, I've never ever felt like I belonged anywhere at school, amid friends or teachers or in the classroom or at home. I always felt once, twice removed from people. I've gone through periods of binging and purging to periods of extreme restriction of food intake. Sometimes I would have nothing at all in a day. I did want to reduce myself in size, but it, it wasn't to fit my clothes, it, it, it wasn't to look good, it was to disappear. It was to take up less space in the world. I wanted to become invisible. I became incredibly good at adopting a mask to the outside world because it was the only way of really existing in it. I had to present a face that was compatible with the rest of the world. I became almost a master at projecting this image of myself. If you had been in my head or in my skin, what you would have heard or seen would have been, I am terrified. I can't stand to live in my skin and I'm so alone and I don't know how to voice this. And yet, no one can see it. When I began to resort to sleeping to cope, then it began to feel like rather than it being my decision, the sleep began to control me and I would literally feel drugged. Couldn't for the life of me keep my eyes open or keep my head up. Quite often very violent nightmares. Over and over walking to the top of the stairs in our old house and throwing myself down and the impact at the bottom never being violent enough. And so I would have to climb back up the stairs and hurl myself down again, over and over and over again, all night for years. I dreamt the same thing. With awareness comes a taking of responsibility. Wanting to die and kill myself was just so simple. It's the not wanting, it's the d deciding that actually I want to, to live and and give this my best shot, that is so much more difficult. <laughs>